All right, now today we have another advanced keyword research tool for you if you just want to get really deep into, uh, into keyword research. This is another really amazing one. It's not free. You can get a free seven-day trial if you click the button below this video, but uh, it's, uh, it's a paid service, but it's really, really good. So I'll show you some stuff you can do. It's called SEMrush, and let's look at uh, the same keywords we were looking at before. Let's just see the different, uh, each, each one of these keyword tools provides different um, features and different things that they specialize in. And uh, again, this is all, this is also built for SEO. So if you're familiar with SEO, then you'll, um, you'll recognize the usefulness of a tool like this. But SEMrush actually has a couple has a lot of features and I haven't really gotten into a lot of them, but you can see the data is just a lot more in depth than some of the other tools. Um, you can, uh, you can click on, you can see the volume of each of the keywords, which is, as we know, is really important. And like I said, each of the tools is going to show a slightly different volume, but don't pay attention to the specific numbers as much as just the trend. Um, certain long-term keywords or long-tail keywords get a lot more searches than others. Um, let's see. Let's click on phrase match. So this is really, really good for getting suggestions for other keywords based on like a root keyword. Yeah. Um, so I'm uh, I'm using the free version, so you can actually like get in here and get some data for free. And you can just imagine the paid version, you just get access to hundreds and hundreds of results. Um, so they give you a nice sample here. And even these, if you know the 80-20 rule, these are the 80-20. Like these are the, the top 20% that get the 80% of searches anyways. So these are really good places to look. Um, they have an, a similar competitiveness for SEO. They call it KD. That's just like an estimate of like how difficult it is to rank in Google for these. But we're not really too concerned. We're not really concerned with that at all, actually. And their CPC numbers are not really anything we need to pay too much attention to other than the trend. You know, if something is higher here, then it will be probably higher to bid on in Bing, but it, the, the actual numbers don't necessarily correlate to anything. Um, it looks like they have, they do have some trend data as well. They have, um, these are countries. So Canada, so for this particular keyword, Canada's the top, uh, I guess, density of people who are bidding on these keywords or something. The UK, not sure what SG is, the US. So you can see like different country data here. Um, yeah, volume is really important to check out. CPC just for the, uh, for the relative score there and... and uh, the trends related keywords this is awesome assuming it loads <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay so yeah just it, just another source of a lot more keywords you can add and test out um, over time and these are great obviously the longer they are the more likely they are to be exact match good exact match uh, keywords for you long tail keywords that are more likely to convert and more likely to make sales. And then volume is also to, good to pay attention to which ones are getting searched the most. And this is actually um, very interesting here. So these are the top people bidding on, the, on those keywords in Google. And I'm not sure if it shows you the actual ads, but no, that's just a link to the website. Oh, maybe it is actually. Uh, okay, so this is a this is a bit into the competitive research domain here. So, if you put in a uh, competitors domain you can actually see the keywords that they've been bidding on which is pretty awesome 
I'll get more into that in into the one of the uh, competition a competitor analysis videos but but the most this is just another um, great place to get keywords so look at our previous examples here so we can see the the difference between all the different tools uh, this is probably the feature that I use the most is the view full report and um, yeah just tons of long tail keywords obviously you can imagine when you uh, sign up you can you can give it a full spin for seven days and then after that uh, you can you pay for it but you just get tons and tons of results they have been tracking search engines for years so they have tons of data they know what people search for, when they search for it, and um, how many people are searching for it. So just a really amazing tool. Again, it can fill up your long tail keyword, your exact match keyword database, and give you some ideas that you wouldn't have thought of bidding on. Um, just, yeah, it's a really, really high quality tool. That's why it's a paid tool. And they give you tons and tons of data, really easy to, uh, you know, export the keywords and then run them through the keyword mixer tool, um, intelligently assign them to different ad groups and stuff like that. That's, you know, that's your, your task as the creative person here. And, uh, just, this is just an, another data point in understanding your niche and your keywords that you should be targeting. So yeah, this is SEM rush. And if you want to sign up for a free seven day trial of getting all the full features, you can click on the link below the video. And uh, that is an affiliate link. So if you do end up signing up, then I will receive a commission. So thank you very much for that. And um, continuing to support making lots of cool videos and products. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah, this I was definitely recommended if you can, if you have it in the budget, I would give it a try and see if it's a good fit for you. Just even just in seven days, you can download tons of data, probably enough data, you know, to last you for a long time, um, maybe forever with keywords. It's just like a keyword powerhouse. It's hard to show it with the, with the trial level, but, um, just imagine all of these are actually filled in and, and that's accurate. That, I've used it in the past and there's just a really good place. Uh, they have tons and tons of keywords. So yeah, that's, that's SEM rush. And we'll cover another feature of that, which we kind of got into with competitive research in another video, but this is how you analyze keywords with SEM rush.